Hey, what's up, guys? So, I just want to go over something real quick with you guys. Um, a lot of guys, the owner operators, as well as you know, carriers should know this on how much does it cost to run your truck uh, per mile. This is some knowledge that everybody should have if they're going to be a truck driver, owner operator, carrier, you know, small carrier. But yeah, so I'm going to go over, I'm going to break down uh, my costs of what it cost me to run my truck and then show you guys how you can calculate this stuff yourself. Okay. All right. So first I got it broke down. So I got it broke down into two different areas. I got variable costs and I got my fixed costs. Now variable costs is stuff that changes. And then fixed costs are stuff that is gonna be your standard, okay? So the variable costs, what do I got for variable costs? Uh, well, this is based on 3,000 miles is what I average. So you'll wanna figure out what does that truck average per week. So 3,000 miles per week is what I average, okay? And then the driver, I, I, I as far as the the 3,000 miles, I took the last 10 weeks and I averaged them out. Then the driver, uh, that's my pay, 50 cents a mile. That's, you know, kind of standard. Fuel uh, and tolls, I took the average for the last 10 weeks. And and this is, you know, my average is about 1140 bucks a week for fuel. Tolls is, you know, uh, on average of 180 bucks a week. So when I take when I take that down, right? So I got 50 cents and 38 cents and then six cents, right? So that's my variable. Now I got my fixed. So on my fixed, I've got 17 cents a mile for tax for your IRS, okay? Uncle Sam uh, wants to get paid. That's roughly $510 a week. 17 cents for maintenance, another $510 a week. Then you got insurance costs for your truck. Right, I got seven cents a mile for insurance, two hundred and ten dollars a week. Now I got, you know, uh, my truck and my trailer. Right, I've got a two thousand twenty Peterbilt that I just bought, and then I've got a two thousand seventeen uh, Conestoga. So I mean, I got a quarter of a million dollars worth of equipment here. Okay, so that's why I pay a thousand dollars a week, or thirty three cents a mile is what I have to do. Now, when you add up all of these, my base expenses are $1.68 a mile with my base expenses. Now, I work for somebody else, so they get 15% of what I make, right? Is of my gross, right? Or roughly 30 cents per mile, comes out to $900. So that's what the carrier's gonna make off of me. Okay, so my minimum load that I have to make is a dollar ninety eight? That's my break even point. Okay. Now, how can you get some of this down, right? Um, you know, fuel. I mean, that fluctuates. Tolls. You know, they fluctuate. Uh, you're taxed up. Your maintenance. I mean, you know, hopefully you don't have too much maintenance. Uh, maybe get a different truck and trailer if you want to bring that down. So roughly, I'm at a dollar ninety eight a mile is what I have to is what my low minimum is now how do you get you know how do you take a load that's under a dollar 98 a mile so let's say i do a let's say i do a load to florida for three dollars and fifty cents a mile right and i come out of there at a buck 40 a mile okay now i would do that because i look at it as a round as a round trip so you know, yeah, I'm under that buck 98 a mile for that second part, but I got, you know, I did really good going down there, okay? And I don't even go based on rounds. I go by week. So what me and my dispatcher, we strive to do six grand a week is what I strive to do, okay? Now, six grand a week, all of this stuff gets paid. It comes out to 50, 5940 is what all of this stuff comes to. <coughs> anything over that is bonus money for me now what happens when it goes under this right because a lot of times you know you guys we don't you know you don't do six grand in a week 
So, where are you gonna pull from? Well, you can't, you gotta make your truck and trailer payment. You got your insurance, you know? Yeah, maybe you could pull from your maintenance. Maybe you could pull from your tax, right? Um, your tolls you gotta pay, your fuel you gotta pay. Now, what I generally do, I pull from myself. So, uh, you know, yeah, it's nice to make $1,500 a week based on a $6,000 uh, gross on 3,000 miles a week right so yeah it'd be nice you know to make fifteen hundred dollars a week but it doesn't always do that because if you go under this number you gotta pull from somewhere in order to make that work okay now you know in in hindsight if you go a lot over that number right you should always you know take the all that surplus money push it off put it in an account you know and and save it for a rainy day right that way, when you go negative here, then that money that you want surplus on will now go, you know, you'll apply that and use it with you, but not everybody is like that. Now, this is just basic for the owner operators. Now, how about for small carriers, right? So you gotta figure out what is your driver's averaging per week, right? And then whatever you pay your driver, right? And then you got to figure out your what your average fuel and tolls are. So you take the last 10 weeks. Then you got to figure out how much are you going to set aside for taxes, maintenance, insurance, and how much that truck and trailer is going to cost you, right? This is for the small carriers, right? You're not going to have this because you are the carrier. So if, if this was exact for the, the carrier here, then you could take a load at $1.68 and break even. If you're a small carrier that, and all of this is the same. Now, as an owner operator, I need to do this because I also gotta pay, you know, uh, for the letters that are on my truck. So I just wanted to, you know, break it down and show you guys, this is stuff you guys should all know how to do. Okay, like I said, pay myself 50 cents a mile. Okay, that's not the best, right? But, you know, $1,500, you know, on six grand is, I mean, that's not bad. 38 cents a mile is about average. That's about what I average. And then tolls, you know, and then of course, like I said, uh, the IRS wants their money. You have to, you know, you need maintenance for your truck. You have your insurance costs, whether it's bobtail. Uh, this right here was, is my bobtail, including uh, with, uh, I pay for my share of the cargo liability. And then my truck and trailer, but, you gotta remember the reason why mine's so high is because I got a 2020 uh, Peterbilt and 2017 Conestoga, Mac Conestoga. So, yeah, I just wanted to do break this down and show you guys here, just in case you know you guys need to figure out, um, you know, how to break this down. Um, but yeah, I just I wanted to to show you guys how this is done because it seems like. The, a lot of people that are posting online don't know how it's done. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, and of course, you know, some of this stuff, you know, you gotta, you gotta tailor it to yourself. I mean, like the carriers, you know, they're gonna have factoring fees. They're gonna have pre-pass. They're gonna have ELDs, you know. Um, so, you know, that's stuff that they have to take into consideration as a carrier when you're breaking down what your truck needs because every single you know if a carrier has 10 trucks all 10 of them trucks need a different number rate per mile in order to be able to uh operate so that is that's how you figure out how much does it cost to run your truck okay guys so um yeah i guess i just wanted to touch base because it seems like a lot of drivers don't know what's going on so um yeah um I'm planning on doing more trucking videos, so if you guys like this, go ahead and hit the uh, smash, smash the subscribe button. I can't even talk. And then, um, yeah, guys. So if you found this to be useful, please give it a thumbs up, and I'd really appreciate it. And as you can see, I'm in my truck, myself, my heritage, with wherever he's at. Oh, there he is, with my dog. All right, guys. Talk to you guys later. All right, guys, bye.